Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. In today's video, we're going through another collection of coins which we've recently bought at our shop. We do buy in collections on a very regular basis and we love making these videos, going through it to show you what we've bought. I will be wearing one glove in this video. It's very silly, but I've cut my hand and it's still healing, so you guys don't have to see a gross hand. I'm just putting the glove on. The coins are all protected in their cases and boxes, so it's not for the benefit of the coins, it's the benefit of you, the viewer. These these coins will filter onto our website over time and there'll be links in the description of this video across to our website where you can purchase any of the coins that you spot and quite like. If you do see something you like the look of that's not already on our website though, feel free to get in touch with us directly about making a purchase. So let's have a look at some coins. So we start off with a pair of silver proof 50p's. Uh, these are both of the 2018 Paddington 50p's. These were really popular coins, they got put out into circulation and there were so many people looking for them in their change, but the silver coins if we open up and have a look you can see you've got a bit of color on them too which I think really adds to the design makes it a little bit more exciting but uh, these are really cool coins and then we've got the second one so this was obviously Paddington at Buckingham Palace and the second one that was released in the year is Paddington at the station so Paddington station itself so we get it out we can see again We've got this lovely design with Paddington with a bit of colour. Obviously the coin that went into circulation didn't have colour on, on it, it was only the silver proofs you could get that for. So we then have a handful of carded Brilliant Uncirculated coins. So a Brilliant Uncirculated coin is a coin that's struck to a better standard than one you'll find in circulation, but not as high a standard as a proof coin. They're great sort of entry level for new collectors. So this one we've got Gruffalo, there were two Gruffalo 50p's minted. Oh, are they all going to be Gruffalos? Well, someone liked their Gruffalo's, oh, there we go. We've got uh, Stephen Hawking there, so it was the first of the Innovation in Science 50 pences. Lots of people think it was the Isaac Newton 50p, but uh, that was released before the Innovation in Science series became a thing. But a long-running series of 50p's, and they are now minted onto the £2 coin, but uh, this is a lovely, lovely coin. That's the Isaac Newton 50p. Uh, it was released in circulation in, tw in 2017, but there are some 2018 dated ones because it was a strike your own at the Royal Mint back in 2018. We've got Snowman and James. Uh, these are 2018 Snowman again. So this, these are the first of the Snowman 50Ps. We have since had a Snowman 50P every Christmas each year since. We've got a handful of silver proofs and a brilliant uncirculated coin set to have a peek at now. We're going to start with this box which has a Sherlock Holmes 50p in it. Again, a coin that you could find, in, you can find in circulation. It's not the most uncommon coin. It's a really nice design, but again, seeing it in silver proof, uh, you get to see all the details of the text around the coin. It's a lovely coin to have. We then have 2018 Snowman 50p, which we saw in Brilliant Uncirculated only moments ago. This is, of course, a silver proof version of the coin. So you've got some color to the design as well, and there's been some very clever use of the uh, background silver field of the coins across this series you can see it's a bit of the sky is you can see the silver through which is a lovely way to do that so this one is another snowman 50p uh, it's just in slightly different packaging I think this is post office packaging you can see uh, the post office on there so for the ultimate completionist collector that not only has to have one of all the coins but one of all the different packaging as well I guess a slight difference for you there into the next box, oh, a slightly older coin here. This is the Battle of Hastings 50 pence. Again, one you'll find in circulation. It shouldn't be too hard to find one, but again, because this is minted in proof standard, in silver proof, it's a much nicer coin than one you'd find out in your change. Then in this box, well, there's the Stephen Hawking 50p once again. Uh, it's a really lovely design. These are really popular. They sold out really quick at the initial launch of it. Um, and since this coin has come out, there's been a whole range of amazing British scientists celebrated on our 50p and now two pound coins. We've got another Gruffalo in here. So we saw that uh, plentifully in Brilliant Uncirculated Santa, but again, the silver proof Gruffalo does come with a bit of color on the design too. As we know, there were two Gruffalo 50Ps released back in this year. Uh, so you'll find this one and also the mouse and the Gruffalo too. Last of the silver proofs for this handful, we have got very nice. It is the Mary Rose two pound coin. So two pound coins I love in silver proof. The gold plated outer ring really makes the design pop. Mary Rose as well, that's a hard coin to find in circulation. So having the silver proof or brilliant uncirculated version of the coin too are very nice. Cause again, it's all the fine detail you get to see on the coin, which gets worn away whilst using circulation. And then we have this set, which has got one particularly very exciting coin that's amongst a whole range of lovely coins. 
So this set of coins was released in 2019, which was the 50th anniversary of the 50 pence coin being used in circulation. And what they did, they took a whole bunch of older designs and restructured them for this collector's set. They were also made available in silver, gold, all sorts of different strikes and standards. So we start with the Girl Guidance 50p. We then have the very exciting Q Gardens 50p. It's the, uh, the coin that all collectors in the UK want in their collection, but uh, we need to come back to this one in terms of this being a restrike. Uh, we've got the Scouts 50p, Roger Bannister, and the Britannia, which was the definitive design on the 50p up until 2008. So, you do need to be careful if you're buying yourself a Q Gardens. If you want to buy an original 2009 Q Gardens, uh, you'll be able to spot the difference because if we look at the obverse of this coin, it is dated 2019. Uh, now, because these coins were reminted in 2019, they have a different date on the obverse. So, although the reverse looks very much like a Q Garden should, an identical copy of the ones that went into circulation, uh, you do need to check the date on the obverse because what you don't want to do is spend the money you would spend on an actual 2009 Q Gardens on this one. Not to say this isn't worthless, uh, in fact, it holds quite a bit of value despite being a recent restrike of the coin. Well, given that we've seen a few Snowman 50Ps, there are actually some Snowman Christmas cards, so. <laughs> They're quite cool, aren't they? I believe the more recent uh, brilliant circulated coins when the snowman 50ps come out come alongside a christmas card so the idea is you can write in the christmas card and whoever it is you're sending it to gets the coin as part of that too which is kind of neat and then we have a big white box well it's another snowman 50p so it's another silverproof snowman 50p so we can see on the certificate of authenticity there were 20,000 of the silverproof snowmans minted but within this presentation there were only 2,000 of these sets created obviously it's the same coin that would be in a standard silverproof coin set but as I said the ultimate collector that has to have all the different ways they package coins this is another one to add to the list we then got a few piles of brilliant uncirculated coins to work our way through so we start off with a coin which is actually silver so this is a silver sixpence in more recent years so this one is from 2016 the Royal Mint have issued silver sixpences to buy for Christmas, but then also weddings as well, which is kind of exciting. Uh, so you could buy this and put it in your Christmas pudding if you really want it, but it is sterling silver. And then we've got the same coin here, but this one was minted in 2018. So again, different packaging, different year on the coin. I wonder how many of these ended up in Christmas puddings. We then have a five pound coin. Now it does always amaze me that so many people don't even realize that the Royal Mint create five pound coins. Most of us are used to all the different denominations, which we regularly use and change. But uh, the five pound coin, of course, we don't use when we're purchasing things in shops and whatnot. But uh, this one was minted to celebrate King Canute. We then have a two pound coin, which commemorates the anniversary of D-Day. It's a lovely design with the arrows pointing towards the different beaches where the forces landed. But this might not be a two pound coin that's familiar to too many people because this was one of a whole slew of two pound coins, commemorative designs, which weren't put into circulation. In fact, we haven't had a new circulating commemorative two pound coin since 2016. So again, uh, these are only purchasable by collectors. If someone does buy one of these sets, uh, say they they buy it for themselves or they are gifted it and they break it out of the set and they spend it there's a chance you can find some in circulation uh, very very lucky people to find some of these coins but uh, it's a really nice one this one on the topic of two pound coins that didn't go into circulation this one too the Wedgwood two pound coin another real shame because it's a really lovely design but I guess it's more important that the Royal Mint still celebrate these great people institutions themes of our country on coins uh, even though that some of them won't go into circulation as there is, seems to be a drop in the amount of coins being needed. We've got another two pound coin here, this one for Samuel Pepys, the diarist. Uh, many of us will remember studying him uh, in school when we were learning about the Great Fire of London. And then a coin which always brings a smile to my face, this is the Frankenstein two pound coin. It brings a smile to my face because it is my favorite coin of all time. I think it's an absolutely wonderful design and it's a real shame that this one didn't go into circulation because I would love to find these when I'm buying my groceries or whatnot. Got a few duplicates here. This is another beautiful 
designed two pound coin. This is the Great Fire of London, obviously the last year that the coins actually got put into circulation for the commemorative two pounds. Because as I've said, since then, the only two pound coin that is allegedly going into circulation is the 2021 Definitive Britannia design. But uh, Great Fire of London is an absolutely stunning coin. Then we have the Magna Carta two pound coin. Always interesting if you find one of these because you need to check on the obverse or head side of the coin because uh, in 2015, the year this coin was released, we changed portraits of the Queen on our coins. So up to 2015, you will find Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait of the Queen on coins. In 2015, it changed to Jodie Clark's fifth portrait. Now, some of these coins uh, earlier in the year were released with Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait, but then the ones that went into circulation had Jodie Clark's fifth portrait. So if you find one in circulation that had, has Ian Rank Broadley's portrait, then that's an NIFC, a coin not intended for circulation, as with many of the two pound coins that we've seen already in this video. But uh, again, still a lovely coin. Here we have another impressive two pound coin. There was only 650,000 of these minted and put into circulation. Obviously, uh, we are referring sometimes to circulated coins. This is a higher standard than a circulating coin. As they've said, this is a brilliant uncirculated coin. So uh, you get more of the finer detail because as, as I said, it doesn't get knocked around, bumped into other coins in pockets and change and whatnot. And then this coin set is a lovely one and it's rather tricky to get your hands on. It's got all three of the Shakespeare two pound coins. We've got Shakespeare's comedies, Shakespeare's histories and Shakespeare's tragedies. Uh, all three released in 2016 and put into circulation because they're a popular set. Despite the mintages being a little bit higher on some of them, uh, they still command a bit of a premium. And then to wrap off with, we've got one more pile of brilliant uncirculated coins. Here we have another silver sixpence from 2017. We saw this coin in silver proof earlier. It is the Sherlock Holmes 50B. Once more, we have 2018 Snowman 50B. Of course, we have a couple more Gruffalo 50Bs. I wonder whether we'll find the second Gruffalo design later in this pile. And there is Paddington at Buckingham Palace, which we saw in silver proof at the very start of today's video. And that coin's counterpart, this is Paddington at Paddington Station. I haven't seen any of the two 2019 designs, Obviously, in the following year, Paddington went on to explore the Tower of London and then also St. Paul's Cathedral. We return to the Innovation in Science series again with the Stephen Hawking 50p. This coin naturally is uh, packaged up in Royal Mint packaging though, so it does tend to get a bit more of a premium than the other coins which get repackaged by other vendors. There's a couple more Isaac Newton 50ps there. And then we've got a whole load of Beatrix Potter 50p coins. These were really, really popular in circulation. And it's great to start on this coin, Jemima Puddle Duck. Uh, in 2016, we had five different designs released and they came out into circulation too. And Jemima Puddle Duck was the rarest of all five, which meant that this one has quite the premium over its other counterparts in that set. So a lovely coin to start this set off with. Moving on, we have 2019's Peter Rabbit. Now this was a bit of a pivot in the way that the Beatrix Potter coins were done because the last two years, that we had Peter Rabbit on 50Ps, they didn't go into circulation, which is a real shame because uh, the Beatrix Potter series did a really good job of drawing in new collectors, younger collectors, parents, grandparents looking to pick up these coins in their purses and in their wallets to give to the younger generations. And that started off a whole load of people collecting coins. But this coin and the following one didn't go into circulation. And then since then, he's been minted on five pound coins. So 2016, we've got Mrs. Tiggy Winkle here. And then again, from the year 2016, this this is the Squirrel Nutkin 50B. We've got 2016's Peter Rabbit. Now each year where these Beatrix Potter coins were released, there is a different Peter Rabbit. Now there is a lot of talk about a half whisker error or quarter whisker error on this coin. Uh, it's nonsense, there's no such thing. It's just one of the whiskers are a little bit shorter. I guess it's the perspective that Peter Rabbit's looking at you holding the coin, but uh, don't get fooled into that. If one wasn't enough, there's a second Jemima Potter duck. And then the coin that started the set off, the Beatrix Potter Anniversary 50p, marking 150 years of Beatrix Potter. We move now into 2017, which is kind of interesting. I think the 2016 coins were so popular that the Royal Mint decided they were going to double down on it. So uh, the 2017 Beatrix Potter 50Ps, the ones that went into circulation are some of the most common coins that you can find in your change. All four of them, which we may see as we carry on going through. Here's another 2017 Beatrix Potter, my favorite from this year of the Beatrix Potter series. This is Tom Kitten. And then the king of change currently, uh, this is the highest minted circulation Calculating commemorative 50p. There were 25 million Benjamin Bunnies put out into our change back in 2017, so you'll still find plenty of them. But as I said, this is a brilliant uncirculated version of that coin. There we have 2017's Peter Rabbit. 
And now we move into 2018, which again is a bit of a twist up following 2017, because the ones that went into circulation, they weren't that, all that many. Some of them are really tricky to find. Uh, so the brilliant and circulated coins hold a bit of a premium over the previous years, even though there were lots of these made. But uh, this is my favorite of all the Beatrix Potter coins, Mrs. Tittlemouse. The Taylor of Gloucester is another really cute design, which also joins Mrs. Tittlemouse in 2018's Beatrix Potter range. And then we have Flopsy Bunny. Now the ones that went into circulation, this coin is tied at being the rarest Beatrix Potter 50p that you might be able to find in your chain. So very well done if you have done. And of course, who did Flopsy Bunny tie with? None other than Peter Rabbit. So we've got the design here from 2018. You've got Peter Rabbit here eating some radishes. It's a common misconception thinking that they are carrots because well, rabbits do like their carrots, but uh, in this coin it is definitely radishes that he's eating. And then the final coin to wrap off this collection, we have another brilliant uncirculated 50p. This is once again the Battle of Hastings design. Wonderful coin and a really nice one to wrap off today's video one. I'd love to know down in the comments what your favorite coin or coins from this collection was. For me, it's probably that brilliant uncirculated Frankenstein two pound coin. I really love that coin, so getting to see it is a real treat. Do check out the links in the description over to our website if you're missing any of these coins you want a bit more information on them it's a great time to subscribe to our youtube channel as well it's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads or collections that we hunt through you can also follow us on facebook and instagram though where we post lots of pictures of our coins we're also on twitter and tiktok we have our shop and online store and i'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the britannia coin company